Okay, this is module four, lesson 11, problem number three. Giovanni, Francis, and their dad each carried 10 pounds bag of soil into the backyard. After putting soil into the first flower bed, Giovanni's bag was five eighths full. Francis's bag was two fifths full and their dad's bag was three fourths full. How many ounces of soil did they put into the first flower bed all together? The first thing that we need to do is set up an RDW for read, draw, and write. Now I'm going to organize my paper a little bit differently today because I need to make sure I have space to do each problem. So I'm going to give myself a section to write. I'm going to give myself a section labeled G for Giovanni, one labeled F for Francis, one labeled D for their dad, and one that's all together. Now, Giovanni, Francis, and their dad each carried, each carried a 10 pound bag of soil. After putting the soil into the first flower bed, after putting the soil in, Giovanni's bag was five eighths full. Francis's bag was two fifths full, and their dad's bag was three fourths full. How many ounces of soil did they put in the first flower bed? So we're going to box our question. Notice it says ounces, and how much did they put in? We don't want to know how many ounces they have left. We want to know how many ounces they put in. The fractions that are shown in the word problem are how many they have left, how much they have left. So if Giovanni has five eighths of her bag left, then she used three eighths of it. If Francis has two fifths of a bag left, then use three fifths of it. And if dad's bag has three fourths left, then he used one fourth of it. But we need to figure out how much of the 10 pound bag it is in ounces. So we know one pound is equal to 16 ounces. That means that 10 pounds would be able to equal 160 ounces. That's going to be important because we're finding out 3 eighths of 160. 3 fifths of 160. 1 fourth of 160 ounces. Then I'm going to change it into a two numerator, one denominator fraction. So 3 times 160 over 8. Now I know that I don't want to be multiplying 160 by 3. So I'm going to change it using multiples. 8 goes into 8 one time. 8 goes into that 16 two times with a 0 after it. So 8 goes into 160 20 times. 3 times 20 is 60 over 1. So Giovanni used 60 ounces. Francis had 3 fifths of 160. So 3 times 160 over 5. I can do some scratch work up here and figure out if I can divide 160 by 5. 5 does not go into 1. But 5 goes into 16 three times. 3 times 5 is 15. I have 1 left over. I bring down the 0, and that gives me 10. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 take away 10 is 0. So I know that 5 will go into 5 one time, and it will go into 160 32 times. So this is 3 times 32. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so 96 over 1, or 96 ounces that the Francis has used. Now, Dan has 1 fourth of 160, so 1 times 160 
over 4. That 160 looks like a 16 to me with a 0 at the end of it. And I know that 4 can go into 16. So 4 goes into 4 one time. 4 goes into 160 four times for that 16 with a 0 after it. 4 times, sorry, 1 times 40 is 40 over 1. So dad used 40 ounces. All together means I have to add them. So I need to make sure I add my 60 ounces, my 96 ounces, and my 40 ounces. Now you'll notice I put them together in a different way. I didn't line them up from Giovanni, Francis, then Dad. I did a little bit different. And if you look, your brain will think in tens. If I put the 6 and a 4 together, it makes 10. So 60 and 40 together will make 100. If I know this is 100, then 100 plus 96 more gives me 196 ounces. How many ounces do they put into the flower bed? They used or put in 196 ounces of soil in the first flower bed.